Hello, I'm Petra Woodful Harris from the International Sales and Marketing team at Bärenreiter. I have another recommendation of Piano Works for you. Who do you think was the most popular composer around 1790 in Vienna? No, it wasn't Haydn, nor Mozart. It was Leopold Koscheluch, who was born in 1747 and died in 1818. He was educated in Prague and later settled in Vienna. Um, in 1792, he succeeded Mozart as music director and composer to Franz II, and he received double Mozart's salary. If you're not familiar with Kozelou's piano sonatas, I wasn't either until Bärenreiter published all 50 of them in four substantial volumes. Bärenreiter just recently published a small selection of six sonatas from the complete edition. These sonatas represent some of Kozelou's easier works. The whole Kozelou project was instigated by the late Christopher Hogwood, who edited them. I figured if a musician of the stature of Christopher Hogwood finds it worth his while to dedicate so much of his precious time to these works, there must be something to them. So let's have a look. They are not as difficult as Haydn's or Mozart sonatas, but they are a great introduction to the Viennese classic. Their texture is clear and transparent, the music is not hard to read, and you find figurations common at the time, such as scale patterns, broken triads of different kinds, alternating octaves and Alberti basses. Sonata 46 begins with a variation movement. As customary at the time, Kozeluch notated only very few dynamics, and this, combined with the absence of lots of YouTube recordings, gives you a chance to really work on interpretation. As pianists, we certainly don't lack repertoire. There is a lot of piano music out there, but if we're honest, we tend to go back to the same beautiful works over and over again, and rarely do we hear new repertoire in recitals or at competitions. You can change this with these works. Thank you, Leopold Kozeluch, for the music, and thank you for your time.